Hi, it's David Taylor or Mr. Pelagonium back with another one of my video blogs for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Um, things have moved on a bit. Uh, I have got my new glass house up. I have done a few images of the base being built on my Instagram page um, for Mr. Pelagonium uh, just to show you what was going on. But uh, there's been a lot of back-breaking hard work. I think I've probably lost about a stone in weight doing it, which was probably a good thing. But um, it's raining today. I've got one pane in a window that I've actually bought from my old greenhouse that fits in this new one. Uh, just uh, standing under here while it rains so I can't get the roof on. I've actually done all the glazing uh, for the sides uh, but I just need to glaze the roof. Uh, yesterday it was far too windy to finish off so I've had to um, have a break from that and then this morning it's raining so I've got a break again but it's given me a good time to edit a video on standards. You may remember I said I was going to do a video on trying to get standards to grow taller, uh, get that stem a bit longer. Very basically, all it means is taking out some of the lower side shoots of the, of the bush head uh, and encouraging the top uh, of the growing tip to grow up taller uh, encourage, and move that head basically up uh, to grow to a much taller, to make a much longer standard, very basically. And I'll explain how to do that in this video. I did film that prior uh, to um, taking down my old glass house uh, and I've narrated over it, I've done a narration over it so uh, let's have a look at that now and hopefully uh, I'll do another video when I'm in the sort of finishing stages of, of my new greenhouse here so I'll see you again very soon. Okay, so we've got this standard here. Now, the main thing, of course, that we're going to do, if we're going to be doing some serious cutting back, is that we need to make sure the plant is very dry. Um, always a golden rule when cutting plants back, make sure it's very much on the dry side. That's why there's a lot of yellowing leaves, actually, because I'm, I'm cutting this back quite hard and taking some really big main stems out. So we need to ensure the plant is very dry. Now, initially, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do quite a sort of relatively vigorous cutback. So I'm just having a look to see what side shoots and um, parts of the plant I'm going to sort of initially cut back. Um, I'm just whizzing through this bit now uh, just to uh, not to bore you too much, but... I'm going to basically do quite a relatively hard stop that I would maybe normally do uh, in the autumn. This is being done, of course, in the very early summer, um, back when I had my, uh, in my old glass house. Uh, and I'm just basically cutting it back quite hard so that I can actually reveal the shape of the plant underneath, the shape of the stems that are breaking through from that main standard spike up through the middle. Uh, so it's important to see exactly what I have got. But I've made an initial assessment that I think I have got quite a decent distribution of growth on the very top of the, uh, the body of the standard here. And so what this is effectively doing is going to lift the standard up to grow taller uh, but we're also going to take out some of the lower side branches um, to effectively make the main standard stem longer. So that's what we're really going to do. Um, so you can just see here I'm cutting, really cutting back fairly hard, just really like, say, a, a sort of late summer um, or autumn cutback that you sometimes do. Um, if you really sort of uh, want to really shape your plant up to to make it bush out more um, in the in the sort of in the in the mid spring the following year, so we're getting towards the end there now, and I've revealed these side shoots. Now this is a plant. Uh, my two standards here that I've grown are Robin Louise, one of my own plants named after my daughter. And here we go, I, I've sort of slowed up now, and you can clearly see here um, that I've got 
what two main stems that are growing out the side that I want to lose because above that there's the main stem uh, the straight stem that will form part of the new standard and at the top of that I've got a lovely distribution i.e. a round distribution of side shoots growing out the top stem so I'm now going to take out these lower side shoots these strong stems there goes the first one uh, I mean, I obviously could take cuttings from them. Um, I, I've got a number of Robin Louises anyway, so I didn't need to do it in this case. You need to trim back crop quite hard. We will use a, a sharp um, sort of Stanley type knife uh, to really cut back these uh, thick stems that I've taken out because you need to cut these side cuts so you need to cut these side shoots right back to this standard stem to make it really neat. Uh, and we'll see a little bit later the um, how that sort of lines in uh, with the main standard stem. So I'm just finishing that one off, just tidying it up right against the uh, the standard stem. Uh, you can see that this is there's a good straight part of the standard stem that's continuing to grow up through the middle and it's right on that tip up the top there that um, I've got a good round distribution of growth. Now if you haven't got a good round distribution of growth on the top of the standard stem then realistically you may not be able to sort of take out so many of these lower uh, side branches because you need to be able to maintain a, a grow on a good head um, so you know you need to have a good circulation of growth on the top on the very top of this standard there and there are two more um, main side stems that I'm taking off here there goes one and there goes the I'm just about to take the other one I'm just making sure that I look round to make sure that I've got a a good circulation of growth above that uh, and that I'm not going to completely uh, wreck the plant I mean I have got two of these I did I, I will do the other one as well straight after this um, but I I was quite happy with what I had left right at the tip of the top of this standard um, so I'm just making sure that I'm not cutting off my nose to spite my face uh, good old English saying um, but I have got a good circulation of growth that's left so I am taking that one out so there we are uh, I've basically effectively added about three or four inches so what about a hundred centimeters uh, to the length of this standard stem uh, it just slightly tips over a little bit but we can straighten that up on the uh, on the stick uh, with a little bit of maneuvering like we've done in the past uh, once again I'm using a very sharp knife now just to cut these really big side shoots right back to the main standard stem now just to make it all neat and tidy um, key though as I said previously that you must ensure your plant is really almost bone dry before you um, uh, do this uh, and there we go we, we have a little brief look as to where we've got I clearly need to do a little bit more cutting back um, which I'm just doing there I mean I've been doing this for decades so be very careful when using a sharp stem I've been doing this for decades, so my thumb is uh, is used to getting a, a little sort of uh, Stanley-type blade cut down on it in the past. So um, just be very careful. And there we are. That That's revealing what we've got left. But it is a good distribution of, um, of stems at the very top of this standard, which can now grow on to form the basis of the new head. But we've added about 100 centimetres or about four inches to the length of the standard. And that was key. Uh, and you can see that I've done that here. Um, and I, I was quite pleased with this one. Uh, I'll be very honest with you. I've obviously, I'm obviously recording this narration later. 
and the other one didn't do quite as well but I, I made a, a fairly good job of it but this one is really getting to the stage now of the height of the stem which is probably well over two foot now um I'm just trying about 60 centimetres, that's what I need to think of. Uh, but there we are. So it's just a question of getting your standard, cutting right back to the stem so that you're going to continue to get that lovely straight stem with no kink sticking out of it. There is a slight kink which I can certainly manoeuvre with uh, tying, into the, um, tying in the string there. And that's Robin Louise, a plant of Robin Louise uh, behind it, which will hopefully end up with uh, a lovely plant, basically on the top of a standard stem. And there it is. It's looking pretty good. I cleared that up. I've got a good distribution of growth and I'm really happy with how that's happened. It's been cut back, so it's going to break out. Um, and it's looking pretty good. And so that's what we do. It. That's how you do it. That's how you lengthen the stem. You're basically cutting off lower branches, but make sure you've got a good tip uh, at the top with a good distribution of young growth to make a brand new head at the top. And that's how we do it. So uh, goodbye for now. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Mr. Pelagonium on both Twitter and Instagram under Mr. Pelagonium. And you can follow the Pelagonium and Geranium Society on Facebook. Or you can visit the PAGS website at thepags.org.uk.